sound of the gong itself can create the possibility for deep automatic meditation and relaxation. The sound of the gong in this respect becomes very therapeutic. It allows you to access areas of the mind that may be very difficult to access even during the states of normal meditation. As we play the gong, the most important thing for you to do is to relax and to breathe. The gong itself will do all the work. The sound of the gong enters into the body in a particular way to wash away or to clean or to clear. All you have to do is to ride the wave of sound. The more you relax, the more deeply and easily you can breathe, the more benefits you'll receive. The gong itself can be used as part of a yoga class. It can be used in a therapeutic session or setting where the gong is played in a very particular way to achieve a particular effect. It can be used to open the heart chakra, for example. It can be used to release old and deep hidden fears in the unconscious. Depending upon how the gong is played and what is the intention of the gong and the yoga, we can achieve different effects in the emotional body, the mental body, and even the physical body. The sound of the gong, for example, when played quickly around the edge, creates a sense of expansion in the mind, into the aura. When we play it in the center, up and down, we begin to affect the area of the heart center, the heart of the gong, the heart of the human. As you begin to encounter the sound of the gong and learn how to work with it, you'll find yourself able to enter enter very profound realms of consciousness. In different areas of the world, the gong has been used for healing, for entering into transcendental states, for developing the ability to go beyond the regular, ordinary mind. It's used in Bali, for example, to treat schizophrenia. This is, how they use, this is how they do it. They don't use drugs, they use the sound of the gong, which is very interesting. The sound of the gong can also be helpful in regeneration of the nervous system, particularly if you've had uh, drug addictions, abusive, uh, abusive substances, or uh, just the stress of daily living, where the nervous system becomes compromised. We found that the sound of the gong is extremely beneficial to the parasympathetic nervous system to help heal and to regenerate. So even if all you do is to come and listen to the sound of the gong, the nervous system becomes strengthened and the relaxation becomes more automatic. It's a wonderful tool, and we love to use it a lot in our yoga classes, particularly in Kundalini Yoga. If you'd like to learn more about how we use the gong in therapy and in training, uh, I encourage you to investigate the opportunities we have for you in terms of learning to play the gong, having a gong therapy session, or even a a gong concert where we gather four or five gongs in one room, we play them uh, to create a wall of sound for you to relax deeply into. So this is it, the gong. It's the instrument of the yogi. Satnam. (laughs) 